wanted me to show y'all my hair before before he uh flat irons it and then he wants me to show y'all after. So that's too heavy. So this is the before. She's nice and puffy. Bye. Bye. I don't wanna see that. So yeah, yeah. This is the before. Bye. Before he flat earns it. Can y'all see it? So I'll come back when he finished. Because he said that he's always doing my hair. And I don't never let y'all know that he the one who did it. And how well he does my hair. So I'll be back, you guys. Bye. 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 You gonna say hi to the people? Hey, what's going on, yo? I'm getting ready to do. My wife is here. Show y'all how good I am. Yeah. It also saves me about two hundred dollars. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Mama, you bring your bottle. Yeah. Your bottle. Your bottle. No. Halfway done, you guys. Okay, you guys, so this is the end result. He got it pretty straight. Can you see? So what y'all think? Did he do a good job? <laughs> Hold on, you guys. I'll be back. Hi, you guys. So today I want to talk to you about loving others. Having love for another person. <clears throat> In the dictionary, it says have my notes right here you guys it says an intense feeling of deep affection that's what it says in the dictionary uh let's see god he lives in us it says let us not love without words but with affection and truth like to me that means show like show your love like you, you know how people they tell you they love you but they don't show it they don't act like they love you Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. And to be honest, I used to say that I didn't believe in love because I had been hurt so many times by friends and family. So I used to tell people all the time that I don't believe in love. But the thing is, when you, when you say that, you're saying that you don't believe in God. Like when you say, oh, I don't believe in love. I don't, I don't know. I don't believe in love. That means you don't believe in God. You know why? Because God is love. And if you believe in God, then you believe in love because he is love. Do you get it? Let's get a verse. It says, love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude it is not self-seeking it is not easily angered it keeps no record of wrongs love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth it always protects it always trusts it always hopes it always preserves and that came from came from first corinthians 13 4 through 7 and what i received from that you guys is oh well, let me give you an example. Like, if say I got into it with somebody, right? And then before we got into it, I was like, oh, yeah, I love them. I love them so much. Yeah, yeah, I really love them. But then we get into it, and, like, when you get into it with your friend or with your spouse or your daughter or your son, you be like, well, I'm mad at you because you did this, this, and that. And then you turn around and did that. 
you guys, that's not love because you're keeping track of what they're doing. Yes, they did something wrong, but the love that you have for them, you would get past that. You know, because, okay, what if Jesus, or what if God kept track of everything that you've done? We're human, so we sin. We, everybody sins. It, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're human, so we sin. We lie, we kill, we steal. Not all of us, but that we do some type of sin. So, if God was to say, oh, she did this, or she woke up too early, or she woke up too late, or she didn't thank me as soon as she got up, what if God kept track of everything we did? Everything we've done in the past? What if he kept track of all that? We, we would be in trouble, you guys, but God loves us, so he forgives us. And that's what love is. You Now, let me tell you something. I know that people, human beings, hurt you because they're human. Nobody is perfect. There is nobody on this earth that is perfect. So people make mistakes. And what you have to do is forgive them. I didn't say forget. I said forgive them. But that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother speech right there. We'll get to talk about forgiveness. But right now we're focusing on love. You guys, you you know how, like for myself, I love bacon. I love bacon. I don't cut back on bacon. Like I said, I used to put bacon and cheese on everything. Everything. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, everything. Snacks, everything. But bacon, you know, it, it caused me to break out. It caused me to be fat. It caused me to jiggle when I walk. It caused me to slow breathe hard have heart issues i mean just it it was doing some bad things to me but because i love it i just kept eating it kept eating it and i would get mad at it and be like oh i'm not gonna eat bacon no more i'm not gonna do that no more because it just it don't love me back let me tell you something sometimes you have to love someone more than they love you you get what i'm saying so you, like basically have enough love for the both of y'all. So if everybody loved each other, everybody's not going to love each other. I'm telling you that from the beginning. But don't be that person that says, oh, they don't love me, so I'm not going to love them back. No. You love them because God loves you. Jesus loves you. So, for example, with my daughter, Chunky, y'all see how she can get, she, she gets hyper, honey, and she gets to doing crazy things. She smacks me in my face with her toys, and she yells at me, screams at me, pulls my hair. I mean, she does all kinds of crazy things. But that doesn't mean I'm going to love her any less. No, I'm going to continue to love her despite of the things that she do and the way she, you know, acts and everything. Even though it hurts, you know, when she poked mama in her eye or hit in the head with the little toy, I still love her. I'm going to love her through that because that's what love is. It's forgiving. And I have to trust and have faith that she will learn her lesson and see the hurt that it causes mommy and not do it anymore. Because that's, you know, I have faith in God and that he will protect me from my daughter from her beating me up. You know, that's faith. But, you guys, I hope y'all received this. I want you to comment below. How do you love myself? I... Well, when I was younger, I used to love really easily, like, when I was, like, really, really young. This is before I started dating, of course. I used to love everybody, and that's how my feelings would get hurt. Because when you love something, and it does something wrong, it hurts. Because if you didn't care about that person, or what they're doing, and it wouldn't bother you because you don't care about them. But because you do love that person, and what they're doing, it hurts. And sometimes with love, yes, you will get hurt. Cause that's a part of love but you just have to work through it work through that situation if it's if it's a friend you know talk to them tell them how you feeling be like hey it hurt me when you did da 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 or whatever they can either say whoop the whoop i don't care or they can say oh i'm sorry friend i mean, that's what a real friend would do 
But if they be like, I don't care what do, that's not your friend. You know what I'm saying? You can keep loving them, but you have to accept them for who they are, which is not your friend. And you have to just leave them alone and go on about your business. Because you have to accept people for who they are. Accept others. Y'all remember we talked about that? Accepting others. So if your friend turn out to be not your friend, that's just what that is. You can't force nobody to be your friend, honey. If they been faking it this whole time and doing their own little thing and whatnot, that's just them. That, that's on them, you guys. They ain't got nothing to do with you. You just shoot them the deuces and move on to the next. Same thing goes with relationship. I remember in the past there was this guy that I was talking to. I really liked him. And he was going to leave and go to the army, right? So I was like, you know, if you love me, you won't go to the army. Don't do not do that. That's not love, you guys. What I was doing, putting him in this type of situation, that's not love. I should have supported what he wanted to do. He wanted to go and be in the service. I should have said, okay, you do that. Hey, I'm going to hold you down here. That's what I should have done. But I didn't. That's, that wasn't me showing him love. You guys, if you love someone, if you love somebody, if you truly honestly love them, you'll be honest with them, you trust them, you would, if y'all get into it, you will be able to work through it. You know, sometimes you have to take a moment back. You might not be able to work it out, like right then and there, just go home, sleep on it. Sometimes it'll take a day or two, sometimes it'll take a week or two. But then, if you love that person, you come back and you talk about it, and y'all forgive each other. You might not agree on whatever, so, you know, sometimes you have to agree to disagree. That's what love is, compromising. Sometimes with love, you have to compromise. You guys, let me tell you. The world would be so much better if we love one another, if you love sincerely from your heart. If you love the way... The way God loves us, that's how you should love other people. The way Jesus loves you, that's how you should love other people. Don't don't judge them. Just accept them for who they are. You, do you understand what I'm saying? Don't judge them. Don't talk about them. Even when y'all get into it, you know, you probably know all their little secrets. Don't go tell Keisha down the street, oh, yeah, girl, Becky, that is this and that. And she was doing this the other day, this and that. Don't do that. Just, you get into it with that person, you go your separate ways, you go home, you think about what they did, and you just pray about it, talk about it with Jesus. You need to talk to somebody about it, talk about it with Jesus. Because he'll listen. So, you guys, just try your best to love your neighbor, your Everybody, just try your best to love that person. I know sometimes it's hard, especially if they done, done you wrong over and over and over again. But you just got to think. God continues to love you even when you keep doing stuff. Sometimes we do things over and over again. And he still continues to forgive us and love us. You guys, I hope y'all received this word today. Comment below the way you love, how you love, what do you do when you love someone. Or something, because some people, we love objects or, you know, what do you do when you're loving others or in love with something? And what do you do when you fall out of love with them? And just remember, you guys, Jesus and God, Christ, they love you. If you feel like nobody else loves you, know that they love you. I thank you guys for watching, and I hope y'all having a blessed day. Bye-bye. A B A B C D E F <laughs> She being silly A B
Are you sharing? But dad tell her you want her to share. No, ma'am. Tell her, say, no, ma'am. No, ma'am.